Hello, students. Uh, this is Non-Flowering Plants, and today we're going to talk about the moss life cycle. So the top half of this diagram are the gametophytic stages, and the bottom half are the sporophytic stages. In mosses, uh, the sporophyte is pretty substantial, and it grows on the gametophyte, and it preserves well in specimens, whereas in liverworts, it kind of fell apart. It was mostly just water and spores. The sporophyte makes spores, of course. Those spores disperse, and uh, the first stage that they form is called the protonemata. It's this kind of filamentous stage that looks a little bit like green algae, and from it, buds arise that grow up and make the mossy moss. Let's look at the sperm and the egg here. There's a sperm that's sort of squirreling around. And uh, together, they would unite at fertilization and make a zygote. The zygote is the first diploid uh, cell, and it's the thing that will eventually grow up to be a sporophyte. The next stage we would call an embryo, and then the embryo, it would be divide and divide and divide, and uh, then it would make a young sporophyte there. You can see the foot, which anchors the sporophyte into the tissue of the gametophyte. And then there's a seta, the stalk. Um, at the very top, you see something called the calyptra. The calyptra is haploid. The calyptra grew from the archegonium, and it covers that developing embryo and then the top of the sporophyte. So then we get a mature sporophyte there, and that mature sporophyte has a capsule at the top uh, and a perculum, which is the lid of the mouth, and then a peristome. The peristome are these little teeth that flex in and out and take spores out of the capsule and disperse them. So it would have been a capsule with peristome and then an operculum over the peristome and then a calyptra over the operculum. Here we have sporocytes that are inside the capsule and then at meiosis they make spores. So the first haploid stage and each sporocyte would make four spores. The spores of the dispersal stage, they go out and claim new ground. If they land in a place that's appropriate for that species, then they'll grow to be this protonemata. And in most species, the protonemata is just an early stage, an early filamentous stage that establishes the clone, and then the clone grows off of it. There are a few species of mosses where the protonemata is persistent and itself is a photosynthetic important stage. So there we have a bud on this one it's going to grow into either uh, a male gametophyte or a female gametophyte. At the top of the male gametophyte when it's mature it makes a perigonium and in this species that perigonium forms a splash cup so it'll squirt sperm out into this cup when it's wet and then a raindrop will land in that splash cup and splash the sperm out. At the top of the female gametophyte is a parakeidium and that's a cluster of leaves that uh, are specialized and also include uh, some sterile hairs called paraphyses and archegonia. So archegonia are in parakeidia and antheridia are in paragonia. So if we look at the, uh, the paragonium there, there's some paraphyses, those are the sterile hairs, and then some antheridia. We have a blow up there of one of the antheridia. One, and that consists of antheridial jacket cells surrounding the tissue that will become the sperm. And then we have a blow up of the archegonium, and that archegonium has a venter, the cells that surround the egg, and then a neck, uh, and a canal. And the canal cells will dissolve at maturity and allow the sperm to swim down the canal and fertilize the egg. Okay, let's go over the overview again. Uh, the top half of the haploid stages, one set of chromosomes, and the bottom half of the diploid stages, uh, two sets of chromosomes. The gametophyte, the haploid stage in bryophytes, in liverworts, mosses, and hornworts, that's the dominant stage. That's the stage that occupies geography and does most of the photosynthesis. The sporophyte lives out its whole life on the gametophyte, in mosses, it's pretty sturdy, uh, but it still only lasts for one season and makes the spores, and then they disperse, whereas the gametophyte keeps on living. 
and is really the ecologically important stage of the life cycle. And that is really all that I have to say about that. Thank you.